yourself. Uh, speak clearly. I'm all right, boy. And why are you here? What did you get in trouble for? Take a who? A who? Speak when they can hear you clearly. Is it wrong? Did you not know that it was wrong? Okay, how many times have we disciplined you on other behavior issues in school about things? A lot. So what do you think your punishment should be, Marcus? So what do you think your punishment should be, Marcus? Hello? So what is it? What, what is your punishment? What should your punishment be, son? How old are you, Marcus? And you know what you're doing is what? But you still continue to do it, do you not? You're 17, in the ninth grade, you're constantly in behavior issues. We left the school this morning talking to the principal, the counselor, and another teacher in reference to helping my son with his behavior issues and his grades. But he continues to steal, lie, and fail grades and classes in school. So I asked him, as we all can see, what his punishment should be. He's very disrespectful. He can do the work, but he fails to do the work. He just doesn't care. He has a lack of motivation, everyone. So with his lack of motivation, I'm going to give him appreciation for having hair. Since he cherishes this, this is what his mother is going to do for his discipline. This is for him to understand I'm not going to continue to tolerate disrespect to anyone. So if he continues this, the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to whip him and I'm going to post this as well. And if any of you on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat don't appreciate my discipline rules, then guess what? Call CPS. But first of all, call me. I will give you my phone number. And if you don't like how I do it, please, by all means, come and take care of my son for me. He will be at this address, 1012 Derry Glen Road, Indian Trail, North Carolina. My phone number is 804-925-0126. All parents that do not like how I train or bring up my child, come on, bring it. You ready? Do you know what your discipline is? Do you appreciate? That's all you appreciate is his hair, right? I told you, I was sick at market. You embarrass me, I'm gonna embarrass you. Oh, it's nice, everybody. It's nice. This is how he's going to go to school, too. He embarrasses me, I embarrass him. Beautiful hair. Beautiful hair, son. You don't appreciate what we do for you? Then I'm going to show you. You're going to show me some appreciation. I'm not going to whoop you. This ain't even humiliation. This is how you humiliate me in school, have the teachers call me, the principals and everybody call me. So guess what? What goes around comes around. I've talked to you. I've encouraged you. I've seen counseling for you. And this is still the treatment that I as a parent receive. So if you don't know how to appreciate what we as parents do for you, this is my appreciation to you. Do you have anything to say on your behalf? Excuse me? Look up and tell everybody. So am I right or am I wrong? Hello? I'm right? Because it could be worse, right? What could be worse, Marcus? You could be what? How can it be worse, Marcus? Hello? You could be six feet in the grave 
or in a jail cell. So therefore, to keep my son out of jail and six feet under, this is the way I intend on continuing to discipline my child. And again, if any of you don't like it, this is the way my son will be going back to school on Wednesday since he is now suspended. He knows better. I raised him better. He knows better. So when you know better, you do better. Thank you for viewing and have a wonderful day.